We've had a disaster this morning. The trees come down. I just walked into it and I was trying to switch the lights on. Let's try that again. Guys, welcome to day five of the Christmas advent calendar. If this is the first one you've watched, then you've got four to catch up on. I won't tell you what they were in this video, but you can go back and check them out. Are you ready? Da -da -da. There's 25 in total from the 1st of December all the way up till Christmas Day. And in each door, there's either an RC car, truck, ready to run, kits, little ones, big ones, weird ones. And I'm sure there's at least one out of the 25 that you'll be interested in. And today we are looking for number five, which is right down there in the corner. Oh, I've got an idea for that one. Come on, shirt, let's see what's in number five. Three, two, one, let's go. My number nine. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> right, let's try reversing. Come on, slow and steady this time. <laughs> it's, good, it's good wrapping paper. Yeah. Yeah, we go, we're in. We're in. Did anyone see what it was? I certainly did. It is the first Tamiya of Christmas. An expert built MF01X. I've been waiting for this one to turn up and I'm glad it's turned up early on. So this is basically a ready to run Tamiya. They call them XB or expert built. I don't know if they're all expert built pros, but so this is the MF01X. Uh, Suzuki Jimny, licensed obviously being Tamiya. Like it shows there, it comes pretty much ready to go. I think you just need to add a battery. Over the years, they have brought out loads of these things. I've had a few, and I know for a lot of people, the fun of the Tamiya is in the build. But if you're not a fan of building, but you still want to enjoy Tamiyas, then the expert built range, that's what they're for. Oh, although this is a quite a basic one for an expert build. What you want to do is buy the expert built ones. I've got like a million decals on them. Saves you hours and hours of doing that. So under here should be the controller. Spares in there, wheel hex, some grease. I don't know if they're chassis extensions, whether you can change it. Instructions. This is one of Tamiya's uh, 2.4 gig. The older ready to runs obviously came with the old style radios with an aerial and crystals and stuff like that. However, oh no, I was just about to say, however, you still have to put eight batteries in, but uh, they're blanks. So you just need four double A's. Didn't know whether I uh, had enough. Come on, little fella. Ooh. So looking on the box, it looks like this was originally released in 2015, this expert built. So. Uh, this one's been sat around for a while. It's got the standard Tamiya friction dampers on it. I can feel that. I'm expecting it's got bushings rather than bearings, but it is a nice looking little chimney. Like I said, fully licensed, fully painted, everything trimmed nicely. All the window surrounds have been put on nicely. Much better than I could do. <laughs> We've got some molded wing mirrors and that's about all. <laughs> There's the back of it. Very nice. Rally block tyres, we're going to be taking this thing off-road. So it's a good job we got them. The MF01 chassis comes with lots of different body styles and some of them are rally cars. I think that's what it's kind of uh, designed for. So shaft driven four-wheel drive, motor sits at the back. It's got a strange suspension set up on the rear. So you get your shock at the front there and then you've got like a little uh, tie rod there. Look, I mean, it, it works all right. Oh, I just noticed it's a torque tune motor, so we're going to have a little bit more oomph with this. Very nice. So like I said, comes ready to run. You've got your ESC there, you've got your servo there, you've got a giant receiver there. Torch tune motor, all you need to do is slide the battery in and well, you should be good to go. Obviously a good upgrade for uh, this would be oil shocks and bearings because I'm presuming it won't have bearings. Let's whip a wheel off and have a look. No such luck, <laughs> bushings. Right, I think we should get a battery charged I'm going to put a LiPo in it rather than a nickel metal hydride. I presume that ESC will be okay with LiPos. I'm going to have to change the Tamiya plug. I think what we should do before we go and take it off-road though, 
we're going to speed run it. I like speed running Tamiya's because it's not something that people used to do back in the day because we didn't have the technology we got now. You'd have to have done it with like a radar gun that not everyone had access to. So place your bets now on what speed it's going to get. I'm going to go for, I think it's probably geared relatively low. It has got the torque tube motor. I'm going to say 18 miles an hour. If you want your very own Tamiya expert bill, I've got this M05 Mugen CRX Pro as part of my Christmas prize bundle. So link in the description, one person will win all of that. So this is the LiPo I'm using, it's the Reedy Wolf Pack. These are perfect for Tamiya's. One, because they're the right shape, and two, the cables come out so that it goes over like that. Some of these shaped LiPos, the cables come out the side and it's just a bit fiddly. This will slide. I'm sure it will, straight in, and then that will go over the top. So I took a quick look, and although you can run LiPo, the ESC hasn't got a low voltage cutoff, so I've got this little contraption, I've got a few of these. You can test your voltages, and you can set it so that it to beep when it's uh, low voltage. Right then, let's see what this is about. So you can't set endpoints on these transmitters, and that's, yeah, definitely could do have endpoints set in. Forward brake, reverse. What did I say, 18 mile an hour? Let's go find out. So I didn't mention, clear windows, no driver. Tut, tut, tut. What a beautiful day to be running this. Track, start. Let's get this thing up here. Steering, just needed a little tweak out the box. That's full throttle, it's pretty quick. It's not bad. Oh, it's a bit bouncy. <laughs> it's very bouncy. Well, don't roll it, don't roll it being super careful. I think on that surface, when we take it on there, it'll slide around a bit more. So on this surface, it's probably got a bit too much grip. Got to be really careful with the steering. <laughs> oh, curb. I think that's probably enough to get a speed. What are we talking? What did I say? I said 18, didn't I? Ready? Oh, 16, two mile an hour off. Should we see if it'll do 16 off-road? I reckon it probably will. Bounce, 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 bounce. Here we go, full throttle. <laughs> That's so bouncy. <laughs> yep, 16, I thought it would. The thing with Tamiya is, when you've got something like this that's bouncing around and obviously it's not got, be whoa, nice light, it's not, got whoa. <laughs> it's not got bearings in it and stuff. Tamiya can kind of get away with it because because of the nostalgic thing with Tamiya, I don't think people mind, and bearings are really cheap. Oil shocks for Tamiya's, they can be expensive, depending on what ones you have, but... <laughs> oh, they're just so fun just hooning around. It's got the right amount of grip with them rally blocks, but you can slide it around really well. Let's go on the grass. This is the perfect terrain for this, really, I reckon. Not got much ground <laughs> clearance. Oh, that's very bouncy. Yeah, that's too bouncy for this. <laughs> oh, my days. It's much more suited to this stuff. Whoa, that was a big jump. I thought this would tip over. It's probably got some really nice low down, like, it's probably got a good low C of G. I'm not sure it'll crawl very well with them open diffs. We'll give it a go. No, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Stuck. fun that was. I started getting a little bit carried away so I decided to stop while the going was good because uh, much as these can take a little bit of off-road bashing around they're still a little bit fragile. <laughs> oh. 
dear. I think we might need to give this a clean. What's the battery on? 7.75 volts. That lasted for ages, so good battery. Good run time. Right, I'm gonna give this a clean before I do anything else. I'm terrible at clean. Hang on, I will show you. I get back after a muddy session. Now that was June 2022. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible, I can hear you all in the comments. And then this was almost exactly a year later at exactly the same place. They were in the summer, so they dried really quick. You'll probably find that they're very well preserved under there. I might keep them like it, and then in like a thousand years time, it'd be a pristine RC car. Right, anyway, let's get this clean, and then we'll quickly summarize my thoughts. There we go, a clean Tamiya and a coffee. Every middle-aged man's dream. So my first go with an MFO1 chassis, and I really liked it. I'm not keen on this body, it's just a little bit wobbly, probably needs a bit of support in there, but I think on a different body with some oil shocks, different body, oil shocks, bearings, this is a nice solid platform. I know it's been out for a while, and there's a few of you in the comments that watch the channel that have got them. In fact, I think I've got a spare GR Yaris body. When Tamiya released a GR Yaris, I'd ordered one as well, so my actual one turned up before the Tamiya one because of all the delays with it. But it came with a front wheel drive chassis. And yes, in Japan, there was a version with just front wheel drive, but the full fat one was four wheel drive. I reckon the body will fit on this chassis. I've got dirt all over my face from when I clean this. Maybe that's a future project. Anyway, cheers for watching, and I'm gonna let you into a little secret. There's two more Tamiyas somewhere in there. I'll see you tomorrow for number six.